Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 56. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Chiefs and the Giants, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the New York Giants. Brandon Gunn with my good friend Charles Davis. And Charles, for these Kansas City Chiefs, they, of course, were Super Bowl champions two years ago. They won over the Niners in Miami. And they fell to the Bucs in Tampa last year, but now they are back making their third consecutive trip to the big game. They have truly cemented themselves as perennial front runners, and now when we think of Kansas City, we expect them to be in this game. They're trying to emulate the New England Patriots, who went to Super Bowls 51, 52, and 53 in recent years, and they came up with a win, loss, and then a win again in those three consecutive seasons. Meanwhile, what a turnaround for the Giants. They finished with losing seasons seven of the last eight years, including six and ten last year, but now here they are, champions of the NFC, looking for their fifth ever Super Bowl title. And for many of us, we feel like they were here recently, but it has been a little bit of a wait for them to get back to the big game. Remember, they won Super Bowls 42 and 46. Got some fortuitous plays in both of those and wins over the Patriots. Could we possibly see, partner, something like the helmet catch again? The long fortnight of Super Bowl week is over, and away we go in Super Bowl 58. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And he comes in off of a tremendous game in the NFC Championship round two weeks ago. This has been a team all season long that's really taken their identity from their quarterback, and he's been very vocal in days leading up to this game that he believes that this is their time, and he's going to do all he can to will them to a Super Bowl win. Now Jones. He goes underneath for Anderson. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. Ike's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a toe tap. No doubt about it. Ike had gone to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. Six yards is the pick up, and that'll lead to a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you take a stall and they do that. Only two yards, and it'll be a punt on their opening possession. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They'll be led out by a former most valuable player in the National Football League, the always dangerous Lamar Jackson. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line.
A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there, so that'll bring up second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Jackson. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. And here's a handoff out of the gun. He can't get him down. And he's got some space here. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful. And that strength was on display there. Yeah, and this is most definitely the guy you want running the football when you need the tough yards on third down. And he moves the chains and then some as he shakes off that first contact. And as they said in the 70s, he just keeps right on trucking. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Hands it off out of the gun. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely no there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Jackson to throw. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 27-yard line. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Now Jackson on first down. Now he's going to be taken down back around the 35 yard line. Defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, it's Kelsey on the ground. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. Finding room to the 20. And Jackson going to have the first down as he will get to the ground to avoid the contact. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11.
on EA Sports. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it second down and 11. To throw is Jackson. Flushed out right. And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now the Chiefs bring on their field goal unit from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Kick is good, and the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive stalls out, but the field goal does get them the first points of the night. And three points not to be underestimated. How about this, right? You're on the road, you're under the lights, national television audience. This is not a dress rehearsal, partner. This is for real, and a pretty nice opening statement. will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 score line as they begin with a first and 10. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That's good time running right up the middle. If the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace and change direction, that's often the end result. From the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing Jones. He finds his man complete. It's Baker. And he'll be taken down but now before he gets in the enemy territory. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's a give to Anderson. Defensively a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. Back to throw. Jones. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. 
And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. Looking to throw. Jones. This one complete to Ingram. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Jones throwing on first down, throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here's second and ten. They give it to Anderson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. To throw Jones firing quickly here, and that's complete down to the six yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. From the gun, Jones. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover. They're in the end zone. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. Jones now throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And that will force a turnover on downs. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. That's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. From the gun, he'll hand this off. Skirts by at the 15. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pin back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was coming, whatever's in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Jackson. 
complete the tight end Kelsey. That catch good for only a couple. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I should think of myself is big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You talk about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. That one complete to Okoye. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Jackson. Ball going deep here for Taylor. And it's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. So they took their shot. That was a pretty good heave, but in the end, the free safety is the one who comes away with the football. And two of the traits that you look for in a good free safety, range and decision making. Both on display right there. And it didn't hurt that he's got a good pair of hands, too. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. First and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Jones has got it to Ingram. Complete. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Jones on first and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Second and six. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He's got Anderson right side. But he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? play of the first half and offensively they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter so even though it's first down here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime they spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. The long-distance shot before break comes up empty. But now Charles flipped the script. Time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue. Yeah, when you talk about field position, remember, if this kick is missed, the ball comes back to where? the spot that they snapped it from, so field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air, maybe you can get six out of it instead of three. Yeah, see what happens. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. 
Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Back. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Jackson. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. That turned into a very well orchestrated play right there. Going to work his way out of the backfield to the right. And after he looked it in, he found plenty of space to roam and picked up big yardage. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 46. Now it's Jackson. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. That's going to be a first down. Well done. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Now it's Jackson. That one complete to Hill. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Well, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Again, Jackson. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. With a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Chiefs take the over kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field. They're still their lead. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-0. The drive 
Good summary that time. Five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does at least a little bit because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially. But you have to do it without pressing because pressing that'll lead you into bigger errors. Now Jones on first down, and that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten. Handoff comes to Anderson. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Wide open receiver complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run. Anderson. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see how it's about right in midfield at the 50. Second to his prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Jones throwing on first down. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. And let's see who this is on. Are you serious, dog? Well, you won't hear any boos from this home crowd on that call. No, not at all. It's been a long day for this crowd. Waiting for this game. It's been a long evening as well. Finally, they feel they got a call. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Anderson. Nifty move. Oh, he shifts past him. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. 
Tenth carry now for Anderson. And he'll go down at the 28. Second and one is offered an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They go play action here on first down. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Giants with possession of the football but needing points as we start quarter number four. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Operating from the gun. Jones. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Giants are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the 8-yard line. Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run. Anderson, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, holding like a lawn chair. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. So they'll try again with Anderson. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side, if they stay aggressive, because you know they want to pitch this shutout. Yeah, they have to be aggressive, but they also have to be smart about it as well, because one mistake can turn into six points. That pass play good for seven, but it still brings up a fourth and goal. He got out of bounds, that's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play call, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Send this one away. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. 
Lamar Jackson marching back onto the field. And he had the touchdown of the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And blocked down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. That should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Jackson on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Gonzalez. Seven yards, the pick up there. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw caught here by Taylor. Toss here to Okoye. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. A gain of three, second down. And the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Second and seven, Jackson. Looking towards the sideline, finding Kelsey for the completion. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this court. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Amazing, perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Anderson as they begin this series on the ground. But no help there as they'll get to him at the five. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. 
Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. Here's Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15. I like what they did there, still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw is Jones. This is Anderson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They try some people crazy see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Jones. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jacobs. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now Jones. That's caught right side by Anderson. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make it a second down. Jones. Hauled in by Anderson, left side. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of the face mask, I think. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. mask moves him closer and now first and goal they'll look to throw looking in zone but it's incomplete and now defensively the two minute drill the big key to me make sure you understand your assignments and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds get them on the ground another shot from the nine on second and goal Throw. A dump off to Anderson. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped, getting out of bounds. They may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. play in this Super Bowl. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. But that touchdown means a decision has to be made. Do they kick the PAT and tie it up? Or do they go for two and try to win it right now? Still down one. Here's an utterly critical extra point attempt here. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Tim 
attempt here. And it is good. There were about 70,000 people about to turn blue from holding their breaths. But it's good, and this Super Bowl is tied. So that drive in total, eight plays. And the touchdown capped off by the PAT, and that means that we are likely heading to overtime. as the kicks away. On the return, here's Hall. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. Overtime in a playoff game, awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. If they go down and score, they win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble, gets picked up, the defense scores, game over. But here's the best part. In the regular season, only one period is played. We could call it a tie. Here, we're going to play until we have a winner. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. offense about set to begin this drive They're set for their first drive here in overtime and this is where the crowd can really become a factor they've had to battle it all day but i know what you're saying in overtime that gets doubled doesn't it at least because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown it's game over it's been loud in here so far Coming up on second and seven. Throwing is Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face. Good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. What will they draw up to try to keep this opening drive of overtime moving? Third and seven. Jackson now. He's going up top for Taylor. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, the crowd doesn't like that. Was going to bring up fourth. Now it's first. <laughs> they don't like it at all, do they? It brings them back into it, but really not in a positive way. Now they're angry. That can jangle the team a little bit as well. Pass interference ruined that series of downs for them. So the field flips here as he'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Jackson. They complete it to him. And he's in the end zone. Move over, James White. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. As a fan takes it back out to the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys that can 
concession stands on the way out, right? Not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans screaming out unhappy. But the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team. You'll see their picture. That Your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it.